Good evening, you're watching the news at 6 with me, Sean Russell. The news at 6 is all about the day's biggest developing stories and we'll be filling in on them over the next half hour. But first, the headlines that we're tracking right now. Possibility of governor's rule in Jammu and Kashmir for a few days as Mehbooba Mufti expresses unwillingness to take oath till Monday. The Delhi government indicates extending or even rule by a few more days. High Court reserves order on scheme till January 11th. Animal rights activists cry foul as centre lifts ban on the bullfighting sport of Jalikatu. Tamil Nadu CM thanks the Prime Minister for lifting the ban. And stock markets around the world recover as Chinese markets end a dismal week. On a high note, authorities withdraw circuit breaker to calm investors. A top story this evening, uh, the Delhi High Court today reserved its order on the fate of the odd-even formula scheme for January 11th. This after the state government informed the court that the pollution level across the national capital showed a declining trend after the implementation of the scheme since the 1st of January. The Ahmadmi Party government also said that the odd-even scheme trial might be extended. The odd-even scheme to curb pollution in Delhi might be extended. The Delhi government informed the High Court on Friday that the 15-day trial period is not really sufficient to estimate the effect on pollution levels. Odd-even ke impact ko pure dunia ne mehsus kiya hai aur Delhi bhi isko mehsus kar raha hai aur hume ummeed hai ki 15 tarikh ke baad सारे जितने डेटाज हैं आज कोर्ट में कई लोगों ने अतिरिक्त डेटा प्रस्तुत किए उन उन लोगों के डेटा का भी हम अनुभव जो है हम लोग हम लोग उसको एक्सपेरिमेंट करेंगे उसको भी एग्जामिन करेंगे और सारे तथ्यों के आधार पर 15 तारीख के बाद सरकार आगे का फैसला ले The AAP government also informed the court that the level of the harmful particulate matter across Delhi has come down after the scheme was implemented on January 1st However petitioners argued that there is discrepancy in data provided by the government आज कोर्ट में सारे पक्षों को सुना है कोर्ट ने जो जो सवाल हमसे पूछे थे उन सारे सवालों का जवाब तथ्यात्मक गरिते से सरकार ने उनके सामने प्रस्तुत किया है नो बडी इज क्लेमिंग दैट द पोल्यूशन लेवल्स आर गोइंग डाउन बट श्योरली देयर इज अ डिप इन द पीक ऑफ द पोल्यूशन इफ यू कंपेयर इट विद 2014 एंड 15 विद द 2016 फर्स्ट वीक so therefore um, uh, we have put our case before the uh, honorable delhi high court and the, uh, the the division bench of the honorable high court has now placed it for orders on monday kilon ka dispute ye hai ki jo real time data jo cpcb ya aur authorities jo ministry of earth sciences hai jo unka aaya hai usme pm 2.5 level aur pm 10 level kafi zyada bataye gaye hain jabki iske andar kyunki graphical mode mein ye data pesh kiya gaya real jo मेजरमेंट्स है वो नहीं सप्लाई की गई इसलिए वकीलों ने बताया कि ये जो रिपोर्ट है ये भी मैनुपलेटेड वन है द हाई कोर्ट विल नाउ डिसाइड द फेट ऑफ द ऑड इवन फॉर्मूला ऑन जनवरी इलेवेंथ अर्लियर दिस वीक द कोर्ट हैड क्वेश्चन द डेली गवर्नमेंट डिसीजन टू गो हेड विद द ऑड इवन स्कीम फॉर मोर देन अ वीक The court also observed that the city's public transport is insufficient and is causing inconvenience to the people. Pure report Rajya Sabha TV. Now, Jammu and Kashmir could see a brief spell of governor's rule as Mehbooba Mufti expressed unwillingness to take oath as the chief minister, at least on Monday. That is when the traditional four-day mourning period for Mufti Muhammad Sayyid ends. Mehbooba Mufti is all set to be the next chief minister of Jammu and Kashmir, but the state will have to wait for its first woman CM at least till Monday. Sources say this is due to Mehbooba expressing unwillingness to take oath till then. Monday will mark the end of the four-day mourning parade for her late father, Mufti Muhammad Said. जहाँ तक महबूबा जी का बनने का सवाल है, उसमें तो PDP unanimous है, कोई second thought है ही नहीं, क्योंकि PDP को बनाने में जो महबूबा Mufti का role रहा है, contribution रहा है, hard work रही है, effort रही है, वो तो unparalleled है, इसमें इसलिए उसमें दो राय है नहीं कि महबूबा जी हमारी तरफ से lead रहो। as per the Jammu and Kashmir constitution, the chief minister's post cannot be kept vacant. So unless a new chief minister takes oath immediately, governor's rule is imposed in the state. There is no constitutional crisis, there is a constitutional technicality. That in general, there should be a government in one day. If not, then the governor will tell the rules of the law, 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 
भारत देश के राष्ट्रपति को भेजनी है गवर्नर रूल इज नॉट ए क्राइसिस इट इज एन ऑल्टरनेटिव इंटरम पीरियड के लिए एक ऑल्टरनेटिव होता है Meanwhile BJP lawmakers are meeting to formally decide on support to Mehbooba Mufti as the chief minister. Senior BJP leader and party's in charge for Jammu and Kashmir Ram Madhav is also in Srinagar for the meeting. Bureau report Rajya Sabha TV. Well, let's go across to our correspondent Sham Sundar for more on this. Uh, Sham, uh, while it might be just a modality for uh, Mehbooba Mufti to become chief minister, but the road ahead uh, as far as uh, managing this alliance goes uh, it would be quite a task indeed. Definitely, because uh, uh, PDP and BJP, with both uh, the alliance partner, they have different kind of mass base. Uh, BJP has mass base in Jammu region, and uh, uh, PDP's mass base is in Valley uh, Valley region. And uh, Mr. Mo uh, Mufti Mohammad Said, he was a tall leader. He had a uh, great experience of working in an alliance. Also, he was part of Jan Morcha, and uh, he was uh, uh, home minister at the centre. And uh, he was a tall leader, uh, leader as far uh, as, far as uh, uh, state politics is concerned. Uh, uh, Mahbuba Mufti, though she is also seasoned politician, she was uh, working with. Uh, 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 her, uh, her father very closely in party matters, and she is a uh, uh, member of Lok Sabha also. But uh, uh, the, the, not only in BJP, but uh, there are uh, many senior leaders in PDP also. At this point of time, they, uh, no, uh, there is no issues that uh, uh, there is no challenge as far as the chief ministership is concerned. But uh, of course, it, it, it is going to be a challenging task for her to. Uh, lead this coalition because uh, uh, experience wise uh, she she is not uh, she, she she this will this will be the first uh, uh, responsibility given to her all right sham we'll have to see as to the developments over there and of course sham will keep a track of those for us thanks very much for this for now Well, extensive search operations continue for the third day in Gurdaspur after locals claim to have spotted two men who are suspected to be militants. An Israel-trained SWAT team has been deployed to flush out the suspects. Meanwhile, the operation to fully sanitize the Pathan Court airbase, which was, uh, which was attacked by six terrorists last Saturday, is in its final phase. The United States has also pressed Pakistan to conduct a thorough, fair, and transparent probe into the deadly terror attack. The army, police and security officials are carrying out an extensive search operation near Pandher village in Gurdaspur after locals claim to have seen two men in army fatigues moving around in a suspicious manner. The two suspected militants were spotted near the army cantonment in Gurdaspur district. With fears of another attack, the security forces are not taking any chances and have deployed an Israel trained SWAT team to flush out the militants. इनके बारे में अभी कुछ पता नहीं लगा है लेकिन हम चाहे वो इन्फॉर्मेशन गलत हो चाहे सही हो हम उसको सही मान करके चल रहे हैं और प्रोफेशनल तरीके से उसको डील कर रहे हैं पठान कोर एयर बेस ऑल्सो एंटर्ड इट्स फाइनल फेज विद पर्सनल ऑफ एन एस जी आर्मी एंड गरुड कमांडो ऑफ आई एफ अंडरटेकिंग दॉमिंग ऑपरेशन इज एम डेट इंश्योरिंग दैट नो टेरिस्ट आर स्टिल हाइडिंग एंड देर आर नो बूबी ट्रैप्स द एयर बेस विच वॉज अटैक बाई सिक्स टेरिस्ट लास्ट सैटरडे also left seven security personnel dead united jihad council and alliance of pro pakistan militant groups had claimed responsibility for the assault the effective use of our air assets that was made possible by the deployment of 800 army troops in the technical area alone these air assets were used to keep the area under surveillance to ensure early detection isolation and subsequent engagement by own troops a day after india demanded prompt and decisive response from pakistan united states too pressed pakistan to conduct a thorough fair and transparent probe the us state department said it has asked the government of pakistan to determine how long it will take to investigate the attack following information provided by india india has given leads that the attack was hatched in pakistan usme pakistan se लोग आए हैं और पाकिस्तान में जुड़े हुए हैं इस तरह का जो हमारा एन का डीजी साहब ने भी बताया और हमारा बीएसएफ का तरफ से भी जांच का रिपोर्ट आए हैं फैक्ट दैट पाकिस्तान सपोर्ट्स टेरर एज पार्ट ऑफ स्टेट पॉलिसी इज वेरी वेल नोन इन द एंटायर ग्लोबल कम्युनिटी दी अपेरेंटली वेल प्लान असोल्ट ऑन स्ट्रेटेजिक मिलिट्री टारगेट हैजो ओवर एफर्ट्स टू इम्प्रूव रिलेशन बिटवीन इंडिया एंड पाकिस्तान
Talks between foreign secretaries of two nations are due on 15th of January. Bureau Report, Rajya Sabha TV. Now, just hours after the centre issued the notification on Jalikatu, Tamil Nadu Chief Minister Jayalalitha has thanked the Prime Minister for his prompt response to her government's appeal. The state government has sought the centre's nod for conducting the drill training sport. In a letter, she wrote that the sport upholds cultural values and traditions of Tamil Nadu and has great historical significance. She said it also ensures the conservation of native germplasm and continuance of traditional breeds of indigenous cattle. Jalikatu is played in the state as part of the Pungal festivities, but the centre's move has come in for a lot of criticism, with animal rights activists saying that lifting the protection is against cruelty and a black mark on the nation. Uh, PETA will now move the Supreme Court against his decision. The centre on Friday came out with a notification allowing the controversial sport in, uh, uh, in pole-bound Tamil Nadu to be given, uh, given uh, the extensive demand for its restoration by political parties in the state. More than 2,000 years old traditional play, which was played by our Tamil youth in Tamil Nadu, was due to some reasons, it was facing some crisis in the past. Our Prime Minister has made all the arrangements to conduct the Jalli Kattu this year. For that, I thank our Honorable Prime Minister. The government has taken the decision that is the whole of Tamil Nadu and the whole of Dakshin Bharat are very happy and they are making the decision and they are making the decision and they are making the decision. I believe that this is the right decision and the right time the government has taken the decision and the right time the government has taken the decision and the right time और उसको लाभ मिला है, बल मिला है। They have conducted for almost six years under regulations. They couldn't avoid deaths of animals as well as humans. I'm a citizen of India. I respect my culture and my culture is compassion. And if you are not promoting compassion, you are not culturally true. We're going to challenge it and we fight until the animals are given their rights again. But but because of this notification in the coming few days, whatever deaths of humans and animals happen, it's the responsibility of ministry. Time now to take a look at what else is making news around the country nationwide. The Supreme Court on Friday ordered the central government to fill three posts of information officers at the Central Information Commission within the next six weeks. The court's order came in the course of a public interest litigation filed by RTI activists R.K. Jain and Subhash Chandragarbal. Banking operations are partially hit today as a section of public sector banks' employees went on a strike across the country. The strike is to protest against the violation of the bilateral settlement agreement by associate banks of SBI. Some of the services were affected in the banks where the presence of association members is strong. Private sector banks and the country's largest lender, SBI, however, continue to function normally. The Communist Party of India will chalk out its strategy during its uh, three-day National Council conclave that began on Friday in Guntur in Andhra Pradesh. CPI General Secretary Sohram Sudhakar Reddy said the party will hold discussions with other left parties and probable electoral alliances. He said the CPI has decided to declare 2016 as the year of struggle against the NDA government's anti-people and anti-national policies. A suspected member of the terrorist outfit Al-Qaeda has been arrested in Bengaluru. The alleged member of the terror group, identified as Maulana Anzar Shah, was arrested late on Wednesday night. According to sources, he was plotting to carry out a series of terror strikes in the country. Shah was brought to Delhi on a transit demand and produced at the Patiala, High, uh, Patiala House Court on Friday. Mumbai police have downgraded the security cover for 25 Bollywood celebrities, including Amir Khan and Shah Rukh Khan. Senior officials stressed that the move was needed to cut down on unwanted security cover. The two Khans were provided additional force in wake of their comments in the, on the subject of intolerance. Officials said an assessment review had pointed out that the actors no longer faced any threat. Time for us to take a short break. Lots more on the other side. Do stay tuned. Crisis in China's economy. Shares hit. The Chinese yuan is devalued. With fears of worse to come. What global impact will the crisis have? Watch the big picture at 6.30 p.m. on Rajya Sabha Television.
Welcome back. You're watching the News at 6. Uh, now, the Chinese market ended on a high note on Friday after a dismal week as regulators lifted the circuit breaker rule late on Thursday to ease trading. The authorities put a stop to the mechanism in a bid to calm panicky investors from selling after trade was suspended twice this week. After a volatile week, Chinese markets swung widely in opening trade on Friday with both the benchmark Shanghai Composite Index and the Shenzhen Composite Index rallying 2% higher than the previous session. But the optimism was dwindling in the trading session as the stocks quickly turned negative before the day's close recording 2% gains. But the overall week was one of steep losses for the Chinese markets. The Shanghai Composite shed 10% while the Shenzhen Composite plummeted 14.3% this week. Well, I think in the short term, uh, uh, the market still faces uh, selling pressure because the fundamentals uh, have not changed. Uh, Chinese economic growth is slowing, and as evidenced by the slowing <coughs> uh, uh, economic growth rate, and also there is a flight of capital from Asia, uh, as witnessed by the f fall in the remember exchange rate. In an effort to ease the jitters in the market and extend stability, the Chinese regulators suspended the use of the new circuit breaker mechanism. Analysts say the measure that was meant to calm sentiment was only creating more panic selling. The central bank too firmed up the value of the yuan at 6.56 per dollar. China has pledged to make the value of the yuan more flexible and market oriented. But the fact that they've removed uh, these circuit breakers is going to again obviously free up the aspect of people to manage their risk profile and hopefully effectively kind of flush things out of the system. Again, for other, <clears throat> other markets in the region it's not a new thing but these markets are a lot more institutionally inclined, they're a lot more uh, established and there's a lot more education in the markets as well in, to, in relation to how they work and, and a lot more uh, tools for them to manage risk. China was the only country that didn't weaken its cur currency whilst all other major competitors were weakening theirs. So I think now with a very strong currency and uh, an economy that is decelerating, it is only natural that the currency starts to come down as the central bank loosens policy. Anywhere else, exactly the same thing would be happening. I don't think it's a reason for panic. The fall in Chinese markets and weakening of the yuan had also affected markets around the world. But the policy reversal resulted in Japan's Nikkei turning positive to 0.4% at 17,835.30. In London, the FTSC 100 was up 55.4 points. In Frankfurt, the DAX was up 1%. Beijing's decision to devalue the currency on Thursday had also sent oil prices to 12-year lows. The policy reversal stemmed a rebound in oil prices, but the crude oversupply is keeping investors on the edge. Bureau Report, Rajya Sabha TV. Now, South Korea has resumed loudspeaker propaganda broadcasts into North Korea in response to Pyongyang's hydrogen bomb test. The sound from the speakers can carry for 10 kilometers into North Korea during the day and more uh, than twice that at night. The move has led to the North beginning similar broadcasts. The North has previously threatened to use force to stop these broadcasts. South Korea's army and residents near the border are on alert in face of a possible retaliation from the North. South Korean parliament has also passed a resolution denouncing North Korea's fourth nuclear test and urging them to dismantle the nuclear program. Despite skepticism uh, that the North has the capabilities to carry out such a test, Pyongyang's actions have been deeply criticized by world powers. The United Nations has agreed to draw up new measures against Pyongyang. We are going to be able to do a test of the 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 Let's now take you through some more news uh, and updates internationally in Global Buzz. Two Middle Eastern refugees have been arrested on federal terrorism charges in the US. They are the latest in a series of similar cases in the country's campaign against extremism. Neither man was, however, charged with plotting an attack on the United States. However, one man was charged with supporting the IS and both were charged with providing false information about their ties to international terrorist groups. 
Hamas gunmen opened fire on a tourist bus full of Arab Israeli citizens and a hotel close to the Giza pyramids in Egypt. This occur, uh, occurred during a rally of Muslim Brotherhood supporters today, but the tourists escaped unhurt. The attackers, a group of around 15 Brotherhood supporters, targeted the tourists as they entered the hotel. The Interior Ministry said in a statement that a suspect was arrested and the police are searching for the rest of the group. Medics working at refugee aid camps in the Balkans say that they are seeing a spike in the number of migrants falling ill as freezing temperatures arise. Uh, uh, in fact, arose. Uh, the medical charities say most patients are suffering with respiratory problems such as bronchitis and flu. Migrants are offered medical assistance, warm clothes and food at the main refugee points. However, there are also concerns about people refusing or not seeking treatment. Time now for all the sports news and sports beat. Indian tennis ace Sanya Mirza and her Swiss partner Martina Hingis continued the stupendous run by entering the final of the Brisbane International Tennis Tournament. The top seeds won the semi final 6 3 7 5. With the win, the pair's unbeaten run extends to 25 matches now. Indian wildcard Ram Kumar Ramanathan entered the quarter final of the Chennai Open after a 3 6 6 4 6 4 victory over Russia's Alexander. This was the 21-year-old's first quarter-final in a major tournament. However, Leander Pace was forced to withdraw from the doubles quarter-final after his Spanish partner, Marcel Granolas, failed to recover in time out from an illness. Suspended UEFA President Michel Platini has withdrawn his nomination from the FIFA presidential race next month. Platini, along with FIFA President Sepp Blatter, has been banned from football-related activities for eight years after both were found guilty for disloyal payments. They're appealing against their bans, but the timing of the 26 February elections means Platini cannot run. Well, that's all from Ask Goodbye.